This video will give a brief introduction to the main concepts of hashing. In databases, we often want to use hashing to store key value pairs in order to search the database faster. First, let's define some basic concepts. Imagine a universe, U, which contains all possible keys, for instance all strings with at most 20 characters. Inside, U, we define a set of keys, N. These are the keys that we actually want to store, for instance all words in the English language. Further, we look at an array, M, which we call a hash table. The slots of M, we call buckets. Between the keys, and the hash table we define a function, H, which maps keys in, U, to buckets in, M. What is this hash function? Generally, H can be any function, as long as it can be computed on the keys in U. Usually a hash function will be a modulo computation of some kind, but for our key set here, we choose H to be the closest primary color of the key. If we try to hash our keys with this function, there is a problem. Two of the keys are similar in color, and in this example, they hash to the same bucket. We call this a collision. We need to avoid collisions, since if we wanted to find one of the yellow keys using its hash, we would land in the yellow bucket, and we need to check all the keys in that bucket in order to find the one we are looking for. It seems that we need more buckets. Intuitively, it is clear that if we have only a few buckets, we will get lots of collisions. And if we use lots of buckets, we will have fewer collisions. But how many buckets do we need, exactly, to expect a good result? To reformulate the problem, given a hash table M, any two distinct keys from a key set N, and a random hash function H, what is the probability of two keys colliding? Let us assume that the hash function is perfectly random. So, for any given key, every bucket is equally likely. We can find an alternative formulation of this problem that might be familiar. If we imagine the computation of n hashes as throwing a die with m sides, n times, we can also ask, what is the probability of getting a value more than once? This is equivalent to the well-known birthday problem. Let d be the event that all throws of the die show different sides. This is the same as every person in a room having a different birthday. If we compute this, we get that the probability of a collision is bounded as shown here. So what does that mean for our problem? Can you estimate what the relation between M and N should be if we want a 50-50 chance of not having a birthday collision? Pause the video and take a moment to think about this. If we want our probability of getting a collision to be approximately one half, the exponent on the right side of the equation should be a constant. That means M should be roughly the square of N. In other words, if we want a hash function to be collision-free, we need the hash table to be quadratic in the size of the number of keys that we want to store. For this result we assume to have a random hash function. In reality, with a simple hash function, we might be even more unlucky. If we use for example k modulo 10 to hash the following key set, we get nothing but collisions. Even though this example is quite artificial, it shows that for any key set it is possible to find a very bad hash function. But the inverse is also true. For any key set we can find a very good hash function. How do we do that? In this concrete example we could simply use modulo 9 instead of modulo 10, and we would instantly get fewer collisions. Even better, there exists the concept of universal hash families. If we take a random hash function from a universal hash family, we are guaranteed that the probability of a collision on any two keys from a key set is only one over the size of the hash table, which is optimal. This notion is widely used to build efficient hashing algorithms. In conclusion, we have seen in this video how we can use a hash function to store keys in a hash table. We have also seen that we need to be careful when choosing our hash function in order to avoid collisions, and that if we wanted to have a low probability of collisions using a random hash function, we would need a hash table of size n squared. Thank you for watching this video.